Erstwhile presidential hopeful Terry Goh is back in the headlines. The tycoon has told reporters that he, regret, uh, he regrets quitting the 2020 presidential race. During a political talk show on Tuesday, Goh said he won't sit idle on the sidelines in 2024. He also spoke about a DPP bill set to hit the floor next week, vowing to launch a mass protest to block it. Go led four legislative candidates to a talk show interview on Tuesday. The day before, Go said he regretted dropping his 2020 presidential bid. On the show, he was asked if he'd be up for the challenge in 2024. With regard to this presidential election, I am hands off and I am not watching from the sidelines. In 2024, I will be watching from the sidelines and I will not be hands off. Go said he firmly opposed the DPP's plan to pass its anti-infiltration bill on December 31st. If, say, the DPP insists on passing it on December 31st, I won't rule out, I've never in my life taken anyone to the legislative yuan to protest, but I will lead a group over there. Go pledged to protest at the legislative yuan to block the bill. He was asked about Han Guoyu, who has been striving to consolidate his support base. The billionaire gave a roundabout reply. Go once again called for comprehensive reform within the KMT. He said that the KMT's controversial party list may turn away moderate voters. I believe that the campaign against Wu Suhua is a red herring. But when moderate voters can't bear to cast their ballot for the KMT, and they have to vote after all, the People First Party will become one of their options. Wu Suhua is number four on the list. That's why the campaign is just for show. You'd get faster results trying to remove Wu Dunyi. Go and his confidant Amanda Liu were frank with the criticism, holding nothing back in their assessment of how the election is shaping up.